Again, we'll move one step ahead in this. You just see, POP3 does two more things in deletion. So what is that? One is download and delete mode and one mode is download and keep mode. In deletion, there are two variations. One is download and delete and one mode is download and keep. We'll say what is this download and delete and download and keep. Okay. See, first one, download and delete mode means okay see for example i'll tell you before i start explaining download and delete i'll tell you what is this say bob uh, uh, say for example you read the email uh, in your desktop sometimes i'll read my email from my phone sometimes i'll go back to college and i'll work i'll, I'll read there the email from some other system college system so three different systems i'm trying to read the email will i not get the email same emails or will i not get the sent mails and all that I mean, something like, you know, same emails, email inbox page will be common in all the systems or not? Yes, it will be common in all the systems, right? This is what we expect, correct? But here in POP3, if the user is in the mode of download and delete, what is the meaning of that download and delete means? See, Bob wants to read all his mails. So for reading all his mails, uh, he'll be basically trying to log in into the shared mail server in pop3 shared pop3 server once his authorization is completed his inbox will be loaded to him so what is that loading of inbox from pop3 server to the recipient bob you call that loading process as downloading the email from this pop3 server to bob's system right so i'll tell again our bob wants to load his inbox page so bob what is he doing first he will log in and that login is authorization phase once his login is done he'll be entering in the next stage into the next stage that is transaction stage in transaction we have this mode called download and delete mode so what is this download and delete means bob wants to load all his inbox from the uh, 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 shared pop3 server so from this shared server so sh the server will be sending all i mean loading all the mails of bob to Bob system that is downloading after that the copy of those mails whatever was there in pop3 server will be deleted understanding so all the emails copy whatever was there in pop3 server for Bob related to Bob uh, all uh, whichever uh, uh, intended to Bob those emails sorry those emails will be uh, deleted from the pop3 server now what is going to happen when a copy of the emails are deleted in the pop3 server our bob will anymore will not get a copy of the same emails if he tries to log in from his phone okay i'll tell again uh, see uh, i'm uh, logging into a gmail account okay uh, through my laptop what i'm going to get there i'm going to get my inbox page who will go, who is giving me that inbox page remote gmail server will give me load load all the emails to my desktop correct so basically what i'm doing i'm downloading all the uh, 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 emails from the remote gmail server to my uh, laptop once that is done i'll uh, after some time uh, maybe i'll be making use of my smartphone to read the emails so what i'm doing again when i'm logging in through my smartphone there again i'm trying i'm getting the same inbox page so who is going to give me there again the inbox page same inbox page again that same remote gmail server will load the same emails same inbox page from the remote server to my smartphone this time so what is the meaning of that my copy of emails are still residing in the remote gmail server yes or no same way here also if the copy is not available in the remote gmail server will i be able to download in my smartphone after some time no if i go back to college and uh, log in in my college system there again will my gmail server will load the emails if the copy of my emails are not available in gmail server 
not possible right same way here also in pop 3 download and delete mode is something like once the emails are sent from remote server to the bob system to the recipient system the copy of those emails are removed from the pop 3 server so uh, next time bob when he tries to log in through his smartphone or tablet or anything he will not be able to download the emails he will not be able to see the emails right okay so old emails will not be able to see new emails he may be getting okay so that is actually download and delete mode what about download and keep mode this is the safest mode copy of the emails will be saved in pop3 server that is download and keep mode copies of the messages will be available will be available uh, uh, right okay so uh, different clients different clients means what one uh, copy of his uh, uh, client means for example server will send a copy of all the emails to your laptop after some time if you try to log in from the smartphone again the same copy of all the emails will be sent to your smartphone as well right so different clients here refers to that if you're logging to through smartphone or laptop or college system or any of the system you send mail server pop3 server will send all the emails same emails to all your uh, different systems okay and here one more uh, thing one more functionality of pop3 is it's a stateless protocol what do you mean by stateless if Bob is logging in, his information, his information, uh, 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 his information will not be actually stored in POP3 server. It is something like he will not be recognized. See, uh, for example, not recognized means what? Bob is logging in. Once he is logging in, the session is started, right? Once the session is started, all the transaction, everything will happen within that session. Once the session gets ended, Bob's information is lost in that POP3 server. Again, next time when Bob logs in, again the new information, he is a new user now for server. Bob is a new user for server. His old information will not be stored in the server. So you call this uh, POP3 as a stateless uh, protocol and that means stateless across the session means what? Client is Bob here. Client's information is not stored in the server. Across the session. Across the session means from one session to the other session, Bob will not be remembered. So every time he logs in, he'll be the new user, right? Uh, so remember about HTTP. HTTP is also a stateless protocol there. Uh, user will not be remembered. Yeah. Okay, next IMAP. IMAP is the last protocol. And this again, you can see as you all remember here, Mm, one is the pop3 protocol which might be running at the recipient side if you don't want to use pop3 because pop3 has few disadvantages you may go for the next improvised version of the protocol that is internet mail access protocol imap so we'll see what is imap here yes first be before we move on to imap we'll see what is the disadvantage of pop3 yes do we have something like folder concept in pop3 what do you mean by folders See, Gmail provides you the folder options, right? You can create your own folder. You can move all the emails. Suppose if you receive college emails, you can create a folder called CEC or something wherein you can move all the college related for, uh, emails to that CEC folder, right? You can move the emails from one folder to the other. All these features are provided in Gmail. Yes, the POP3 protocol will not provide you such, such uh, uh, folder uh, concept. So that concept is available here or that feature is available available or provided by IMAP. You can see users can actually create folders, organize the messages inside the folder and also he can uh, move the messages across the folder. And one more thing is about the state information. See here, as I already said, Bob will not be remembered by the server. Every time he logs in, he'll be the new user for our POP3. But in IMAP, it is not that. Whenever you try to log in, you will not be considered as a new user every time you will be remembered by the server right so imap helps in remembering the session remembering the client so for example this is a protocol which will help the server to remember the user so state across the session means that is remembering the client information of client will be um, uh, maintained in the server and he'll be remembered at the server side okay so that is about the imap folder concept you remember in imap and and the last but not least the protocol after IMAP is HTTP which we use these days for Gmail or any of the mails for all possible loading any of the websites not only the mailing websites mailing sites all other sites we 
uh, try to load with the help of HTTP only, right? So everything is happening here in the web internet now with the help of HTTP protocol, right? So HTTP is the most modern and it is the improvised protocol which is uh, better compared to all these SMTP, POP3, IMAP, right? So these are all the protocols which are basically uh, uh, helping you out in sending the emails as well as receiving the emails. So three mailing protocols we have seen. One is SMTP, next is POP3, the last one is IMAP and the fourth one, don't forget, that is HTTP. HTTP is also a mailing protocol, okay, um, right? So I hope you all understood about this uh, protocols, mailing protocols, yes?